you? What are you doing here? I came to see my husband. Who's your husband? Benny still loves me as much as I love him. How sweet. And untrue. You have no business with Danny. I'm carrying his child. <laughs> that makes it family business, doesn't it? Go home. I'm going to get Danny back. He might as well hear it. Because it's the truth. He's going to get away from all of this. You sound so sure. There's only one thing standing in the way. And that's his job. Oh, and you're going to take care of that, no? No, no. He will. He's going to see that leaving the family business is what's best. Best for you. You have no right to try to make Danny and to determine how his life should be lived. Oh, that's right. That, that, that's your department, isn't it? You've changed. I'm a little older. And a little stronger. And a lot more clear now. You left out selfish. I'm not interfering with Danny. The choices he has made, he's made of his free will. Funny how the choices you approve are of his free will. But when he makes a decision that you don't like, someone's interfering with him. We both know why Danny's still running this family, and free will has nothing to do with it. Oh, that's nonsense. Danny had already said goodbye to the Santos family. We were so close to getting on that plane and starting a new life together when Carmen walked out on those docks and dragged him right back into this world. Danny has done so much for you. Made so many sacrifices. Why do you want to still come and take more from him? Why don't you leave him in peace? He's not in peace. Can't you see that when you look into his eyes? No, no, of course not, because it's not something that you want to see. Oh, you dare talk to me like that? Danny is in agony. He's trying to live his mother's life. It's not something that he should be trying to do. It's out of guilt, not free will, because of what happened that night. He wants to be free. That's the choice that he made. But thanks to Carmen and thanks to you, he is chained back to that life. That life that he tried to escape from. Oh, so you're trying to rescue him, hmm? Yes, yes. For his sake and for mine and for our babies. Because I know the life that Danny wants. You know nothing. And that could be very dangerous. You've never understood Danny. Because you don't understand his family. We are his family, his baby and I. So you see, that shows ignorance. You're, you're not a Santos. You're an outsider whom Danny chose to leave. Have you ever thought of why, why he did what he did? The reason is at the bottom of the lake. We both know that. Oh, you're so sure you're right. But you're only proud. I know what's right. Yes? You're looking down your nose on our family? Hmm? Holding yourself above us? You tried to make Danny feel guilty about the blood in his veins. You have attempted to do that, and you say you love him? You take away his pride in himself. That's the reason why he left you. I am not giving up on Danny. Well, <laughs> that's a choice that may be denied to you if you're not careful. What are you doing here? Listening to your grandmother threaten me. What do you mean? She's threatening you? What do you mean? I told Abuela that uh, your child and I wanted you back and that we were going to get you back, too. But Michelle. she didn't like the sound of that. In fact, in fact, she pretty much told me that if I kept it up, it could seriously affect my health. Abuela? Uh, I 
I'm very sorry if Michelle heard the concern of a grandmother for her grandson as a threat. I guess I must have misinterpreted everything. All right, all you right, see, all right. You see how she speaks to me? You see that? I mean, it's so... What's the word? Paranoid. To imagine the worst of people. You know, that's the reason that you've always had trouble with our family. Maybe well, I have too good a memory. Michelle, please. You know, anyway, I, 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 I'm just going to retire myself. You know, I don't want Danny to be upset by such foolishness as this. So I will. Well, uh, it's, right. it's all right. It's all right. I've had enough. I'll come find you later. What's the deal? Huh? You know, anything to do today? You know, you'd come here and create problems for me? You know that's not so. No, I don't. My day was going just fine, Michelle, until I walked in here and I saw you and Abuela going at it. I didn't come here to pick a fight with her. If she's going to get all bent out of shape about a simple statement of truth, that's her business. That statement of truth being what? That I'm going to be with you again? You are, because we both know we belong together. 